to our weekly segment, Tick Talk, where we interview some of our favorite TikTokers, taking a closer look at the story behind the sensation. Joining us now, Tom and Rachel Sullivan, an inspiring couple that became a viral sensation after Tom started making cooking videos while preparing special meals for his wife. Eventually, this would lead the couple to create free meal service for hundreds of college students. Tom and Rachel, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. <laughs> So, Tom, your journey initially started with your brand, Meal She Eats, where you curated different food options for Rachel. Tell us more about that and why you decided to take this holistic approach. Well, it started when Rachel learned she had PCOS. and uh, That was about um, a year ago. I was diagnosed with PCOS. The only option that we were given to kind of regulate my cycle was to go on birth control, and we're trying we're to start, trying to start a family. family. So that wasn't really an option. We for found us. some options that talked about food and that can help with that. And I, I love cooking; that's my joy. And figured if I can help her, we'll we'll try to tackle that. <laughs> so we did. And let's talk about startling statistics. In 2020, 34% of college students were struggling with food insecurities and the pandemic only exacerbated that problem. You've since started an initiative called Adopt a College Kid addressing this very issue. Tell us more about this passion project and what you hope comes out of it. Well, started with one student when we found out the cafeterias were closed in the dorms. And I'm like, how do you get through college without a cafeteria? And I started inviting them over for meals to and talk about where to go, and Rachel made a video yeah, that went viral. Yeah, made a video that went viral, uh, and millions of college students saw it, commenting that they wish that they could also be adopted um, and invited over for free mail. So we were like, let's do it. And so we had some students ask, and we're like, yeah, we'll do one this weekend. And that started with five, and now you know, we're up to over 500. <laughs> Will you guys maybe ever consider going beyond the college graduates? Because I'm in. I, I need some, some meal <laughs> help uh, with the, the prep and, and all of that. Uh, Rachel, last month you had nearly 500 college students come over to grab a meal. Is this a regular occurrence for you guys at this point? How do you prepare to feed so many hungry college kids? Yeah, we do this um, every other weekend. We actually have a meal coming up on Sunday. Um, Tom, surprisingly, I don't do any of the cooking. I'm the storyteller. Tom does all the cooking. We also have students who are involved with it now. Um, As it grew bigger, students actually asked us if they could help, whether it was to learn how to cook or uh, for some of the PCOS stuff we cook, or they just wanted to help. So now I have some extra hands. <laughs> we also have brands reaching out to help sponsor now. So it's really cool. It's really growing beyond um, what started in our kitchen, and hopefully we can bring this on a national level. I think that would be a cool goal for us. I could use two more ovens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Industrial size. And, and of course, yeah. it's more than just cooking meals for college students. You both are making lasting impacts on the community. What has this experience been like for both of you? Life changing. Yeah. <laughs> um, it started with, I, I mean, the community. We're starting to like rec people recognize us out and say hi. They help donate. They help um, like supply things. Some of the community has given us free shopping sprees for bigger equipment. I think it's been cool because for us, we just moved to Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, two, two years. years ago, and we moved in the middle of the pandemic, and we didn't really have a community, and so. You know, starting this movement and all of the people that it's brought together, not only college students, but, you know, um, companies who are local who are reaching out. It's really we've started this whole community that didn't exist. Are, are there any Thanksgiving dinner plans for the college students for tomorrow? <laughs> I just put in the order for the turkeys. I'm picking them up Saturday morning. We're doing it Sunday. <laughs> I'll start smoking them probably Saturday through the night, roasting. And yep, Sunday, we'll have another meal. Really fun, guys. Your generosity is contagious, and uh, we, we really appreciate all that you're doing uh, for the community. And good luck with the baby making as well. Rachel and Tom Sullivan, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank appreciate you. having us. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.